Good afternoon. This tutorial is for Comfy UI Segment Anything 2. Uh, this is uh, installed via the GitHub URL. Um, there's no, at least at this moment, there's no way to do it other than the URL. So you'll go ahead and get into your Comfy UI Manager. Once you get in there, you'll want to go ahead and click on the install from Git URL. And once you go ahead and load that up, it should give you a little little prompt inside your command line window. It'll also prompt you to reset your Comfy UI for it to take effect. I already have it installed, so it's giving me an error. So you'll go ahead and uh, just do the reset and um, it should install with no issues. So we'll go ahead and start with loading up a load video node. We'll go ahead and get that going because we're gonna be working with videos today. I also like to load a resize image as um, sometimes the high resolutions can take forever. So in order to experiment, I do resize just to make it work a little faster. Once we go ahead and do that, we'll go ahead and uh, look for the Florence 2 node, that uh, the 2 run node, that is the main little brain for the prompts, which also then create the coordinates for the segment anything too. And then um, we'll go ahead and load a preview. I like to look at the images for the output of Florence 2. It tells you what it exactly is selecting via the prompts. So and then the next step, we'll go ahead and get in, uh, get a, the download node for the model itself. And that, um, if you don't have the nodes, uh, the models, that node will actually download those models for you. Uh, so if you select a new one, it'll download that next one. If you already have them loaded, it won't download it. So we'll go ahead and drag that noodle over to the model area. The next node we'll go ahead and load is the Florence 2 coordinates. And those are the coordinates that then feed into the segment anything too. And we'll go ahead and connect those together. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is get those connected. We'll get them and we'll look for the SAM to segmentation node. Okay, so once we get that loaded up, we'll go back over and connect those two coordinate nodes with the coordinates for positive. Okay, and when we do that, we'll go ahead and I'm just going to get the image and mass preview. That'll combine the mask with the original video for the composite. Okay, so we'll drag those two nodes together. We'll drag that mask over there. I only know one coordinate for the mask, and that's for red. Otherwise, it's going to come out white. And then we'll go ahead and click on Pass Through. That'll allow the composite and the original video to combine. If you don't click on that Pass Through, it will fail, and you will come out with an error. Okay, so one more thing that I did forget to load in here, which is actually the download node for the models for the SAM2 segmentation. So we'll go ahead and type in download. Um, actually, just go ahead and go, go ahead and type in SAM2, and then we can look for the download SAM2 model. All right, now that we got that downloaded, we'll go ahead and connect those two and get that going and then we can go straight into from the composite we can go straight into a combined video for images and then connect all the original images into the correct nodes okay we just finished clicking up all these uh, nodes together and then we'll go ahead and type in bird and run it see what happens okay so we did run into an error so you do have to type in the the grounding part for the the prompt which is the only one that works for it so now we went and clicked the queue let's see what happens here we did run into another error I'm not too sure exactly what's happening here um, but um, let's see okay um, well I believe let's take another look I think the error that has to do with this is not those, but the image, single image, instead of video. Um, what I'm looking at right here, so you have to make sure you click video when you're doing a video, and images when you do a single image. So let's see what this run looks like. I did segment the bird, and let's see how that com comes out. Okay, so it did segment the bird. It looks beautiful. It's a great mask. We can also go ahead and attach more 
um, image to masks and then output it as well and get a combined video with the mask and the original video and also a uh, I guess an alpha mask with the black and white all right so I did try another test with just the claws to see if I could add those to them it looks like it's tracking both the bird and the claws um, however when you add them to the mask um, it kind of just doesn't attach it but it does allow for the claws and this is the experiment that shows that it can segment the claws separately however it does not combine it with the entire mask with the bird we'll go over a couple more extra settings within the workflow you can decrease the opacity of the mask to see the bird and the mask together with that little setting there you can go and choose the CPU or the GPU for processing if you don't have a CUDA or a GPU to process there's also extra models for both the SAM and the Florence and then if you take a look it does actually if you type in the prompts it does track both the claws and the bird separately however the masks do not combine them together for some reason hopefully in the next update they'll have that solved for now this is AI 101 thank you for watching and I'm out